everyone welcome to my studio so the last week I have just been uh, working on some drawings trying to get ready uh, for some more paintings I've also been packing away all of my stuff from the market on the weekend and then I pulled these out of the bookshelf so I'm going to start doing um, a new art journal I finished one last year which I really enjoyed and I just haven't got around to starting a new one but I really enjoyed it because I got to uh, play around with lots of different mediums I don't normally use, come up with ideas uh, and just basically make a mess in a book that no one's going to see unless I show them. Um, so I'm going to start one of those again because I really enjoyed it last time I did it. So the last, uh, two, about two weeks ago, uh, myself, my husband, my mum, and my dad we all went on a little trip down to Warpole which is in the southwest of Western Australia just ignore that noise that's my dog <laughs> um, we went down to Warpole I had to take some paintings to a uh, gallery down there and uh, we decided to make a little holiday out of it went down there for three days um, stayed in a little uh, caravan park my mum and dad took their camper van down or RV down and we stayed in a unit and we just had an amazing time um, I just love getting out to the country away from busy suburbia it just ugh, I just feel so rested and so peaceful and then coming back home is like ugh, don't want to come home so maybe one day we'll move to the country but for now I just have to leave it for holidays so um, yeah so this is a painting this is a, a little video of the or a little montage of the the painting that I did and um, thrown in some clips of our, our little trip down south for you as well so hope you enjoy one of the paintings that I made to take down to Walpole uh, to go down into a gallery down there called the Petrichor Gallery and I based it off of some of the ginger jars from my my ginger jar collection I started collecting them or oh, maybe about a year a year a year and a half ago I bought a couple because I just thought they were so pretty and then I bought some more and then I bought some more so I decided that I was going to start painting them because at least then I was buying them for a reason. We had such a great time when we went down to Walpole. Um, it's a town about 430 k south of Perth and we live just north of Perth so it took us about five, five and a half hours to get down there. Um, we had a lot of stops on the way in the little country towns and checked out some little shops and um, beautiful scenery it was such a, a, a lovely lovely drive all the way down there um, down in Walpole it's pretty much known for its treetop walk it's a suspended uh, walk that goes right up into the trees and you pretty much walking with the treetops which was just amazing and then when you come down you walk through the forests and the forests there are full of carry, carry trees and giant tingle trees and these trees are just some of the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. They're just absolutely huge and an amazing, amazing place if ever you come to Western Australia. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, so while we were down there we also um, went to a, few, uh, a bird sanctuary, checked out some of the, the local wildlife that was in the sanctuary there. They also had some macaws and some uh, some other birds as well. Then just checked out cafes and uh, local bushwalks and where we were staying, it was right on the inlet, right on the water. So my husband took his drone out and got some drone footage. Uh, we got to walk along the shore there, check out all the, the wildlife. 
And also while we were down there got, and we were going for a walk through the forest, got to see some of the birds, um, or one of the birds that I've painted in this painting, which is the fairy wren, which is what you're looking at right now. These birds are so tiny and they're also so quick. You have to sit there for ages and ages in order to get a photo of them and just sit still until they get, sort of get close enough to you that you can get the photos. But when you do get them, they are just gorgeous. The colours in them are so bright and so beautiful. So it's definitely worthwhile sitting there and just waiting for them to come along. The painting was done in acrylic on canvas and I mainly used my filbert brushes and my liner brushes to do this piece. In order to get the bird in the, in the painting, um, I combined two reference photos. So I took the first reference photo of the blue and white vases with the eucalyptus leaves in it. And then I used a separate photo that I had of a bird and added it in because to get a photo of the bird on the branch in the vase was not going to happen. That was impossible. So I've merged the two together. And I think it turned out pretty well. Um, tried to sort of make sure I had a picture with the same shadows as the photo of the vase and the eucalyptus leaves. Thank you so much for watching that little painting that I just showed you. Um, I do have prints available of it on my website and up, be up on my Etsy really soon as well. The links are down below in the description. Also, if you want to see what I'm working on currently, you can check me out on Instagram and I keep updated photos of my progress of what I'm doing. Um, next week, I'm going to be starting one of these little art journals. So if you want to come back and see what I'm doing in one of those. And yeah, hope to see you all next time. Bye.